Hi, it's Philip Ian. Today I'm doing a video. So yesterday I'm going to be talking about the nine worst players to put on a Bolton shirt. And yeah, let's get into the video. So yes, so today I'm going to be talking about um, this list. You know, the nine, in my opinion, nine worst players to put on a Bolton shirt. Of course, we're going to be starting from bottom to top. Um, of course, from the, you know, like worst to like the fucking worst. You know what I mean? Like the like, like worst. I don't like, but don't hate. Can't, can't, and then to like fucking fucking hurt him, you know, and yeah. So, number nine um, is uh, Ben Amos. Of course, remember Ben Amos, you know, that United reject, you know, the one who's at Wigan now, yeah, that, that prick. Of course, John is on a four year, well, John's on a you know, four year deal on a three. Of course, he was rubbish, um, fucking, he was awful for us. I'm like, Paul Wicker would have done better. He was rubbish. Um, what can I say? He, he couldn't save a cat in the tree, let's put it that way. Um, yeah, he was just rubbish. Then after that, he went to Charlton, I think. And then, of course, after that, he went to Wigan, which he's still out now. Because he's a prick. Anyway. So, yeah, number eight is uh, Michael Ricketts. Of course, Michael Ricketts, that brilliant player who's in that 2001 promotion season, of course, and for. 400,000 from Walsall, I think. Um, brilliant player. Until that very England game against... Uh, against I can't talk. Against Holland. Um, and then after that, he um, was crap, pretty much. He was finished. I don't know how. Like, get a conspiracy singer. I think that's a word. Get a fucking... Because I just... It was weird. Just after that England game, he was just crap. I don't get it. I like the all two or three season he was alright. But still he was awful, wasn't he? So number eight, Michael Rickson. And I've got him that he went to fucking fucking borough after it. it. Didn't do well either. But of course coincidentally won the League Cup against us. And yeah. Number eight, Michael Ricketts. So yeah, number seven, um is Clayton Donaldson, if you remember him, of course. We signed him from the eighteen nineteen season. I'm like, what the fuck? Of course, we're in administration, but for fuck's sake, we could have got better players, at least on a fray. We got Clayton Donaldson, sort of all people, who's literally, if anything, League 2 quality. He was awful for us. He was actually crap for us. He couldn't, honestly, he couldn't look down a barn door. I swear to fucking God. He was rubbish. I'm like, what can I say? He was actually bad. I'm like, he just wasn't good. I'm like, even I could score more than him. <laughs> I'm, you know, fucking off. I'm not even professional. I'm just shit. Um, yeah, Clayton Donaldson was awful. Of course, he was. He was good at Crew, Brentford, um, Birmingham. Um, yeah, but that was really it. And now he's still playing. At fucking Gainsborough Trinity. Fucking Gainsborough. You can tell he's fucking went down in career. So yeah, number seven, Clayton Donaldson. So number six is another current player. At still playing now in football, Josh McGuinness. He was awful for us, simple as. He was just shit. That's why he's at Wigan, because he's awful, you see. But he, he's even doing crap at Wigan. I'm like, found a love against like Burton Albion last season. He's awful. He's got like 3 and 37 for us or something like that. He was awful. How is he in the Northern Ireland team? I've absolutely no clue. He's awful. How the fuck can he play football? If anything, Nicky Hunt should be in the England team when he was in his when he was at Bolton. It was awful for us, Josh McGinnis. Awful. Especially the, of course I I couldn't stand administration, but still. I like players like we had Yannick Wilcher, another fucking Yannick Wilcher, another fucking Wigan spot. By we had crap players, Jack Hobbs, he was awful. And like the only decent players was like Murphy, um Will Buckley. Lafond, yeah, Lafond, yeah, Adam Lafond, yeah, and that, like, Adam Lafond in the kind of time, and Wilbur, and, you know, for that goal to keep us up against Malcolm Forest in the 7 18 season. But yeah, he was awful. Josh McGuinness, number six. So, number five um, is uh, another player um, that actually stayed for one season, really, of course, during the Allardyce days. And the season we got to was actually Vincent Candela. World Cup winner and Euro 2000 winner. Um, of course, he signed him from, I think it was Milan, um, on a, yeah, just the first season. 
reason why is because he's a fucking whining bastard. Because um, he w apparently whined about the style of English football and all that and how strikers can tackle defenders. I'm like, of course, he came straight out of the Italian league. I couldn't stand, but still, have to adjust. <laughs> Fuck it. The counter adjusted. I want to score one fucking goal. I might use a defender. I mean, he's an attacker, even a counter. Oh, he's just complaining. You know, saying, oh, English game's not good. Oh, well, that's why he left. He's on some other shitty club, and yeah. Number five, Vincent Candela. Yeah, number five, Vincent Candela. And now we move on, number four, um, to really. I don't really get it. Christian Willowson, um, of course. Willowson, um was actually not only a crap player, but also the actual same player to bring Amanda to Bolton for some stupid reason. Eight million for nothing. Of course, it'll be next, but eight million for nothing. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Well, I think we've got him on loan from Nantes in France. Um, he, he, he appearances didn't do anything. So he's on there. Number four, Christian Willowson. And then number three, um, of course, what I've just said, Armanda, um, eight million for nothing. Had like eleven month goal drought. That oh wait, no, yeah, eleven eleven month goal drought between oh seven oh eight and oh eight oh nine, and then he finally scored. What's that all about? Eight million as well from Toulouse, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Jeez, he was awful. He was so awful. He was known for that goal against Wolves. I must admit, it was good, but fuck me, he was awful, wasn't he? Jesus Christ. Fuck me, Connor Hall is better than him. He's a fucking Charlie. So yeah, you're on Amanda, number three. Now we move, now move to the final two. Of course, number two is um, Mario Jardel, or I mean Mario Lardel, because he was a fat bastard when he left Bolton. Or I think he actually was a fat bastard when he came to Bolton. Of course, came out of the Brazilian league, was promising. I think he came out, yeah, was promising. You know, it was in the Brazil team for quite a bit as well. Promising youngster, of course. Scored quite a bit in the cup. And from there onwards, he was rubbish, wasn't he? I'm like, he was just missing fucking sitters and all that. And then he got into drugs and left and got overweight. So he pretty much done a welly hand when he was at Arsenal. Um, yeah, he just got into drugs and, yeah, that's why people call him Lardell. Because he was a fat bastard. So, yeah. Mario Jardel, number two. And now we move on to our number one. To the probably the worst player I think ever to put on a Bolton shirt, in my opinion. Phil fucking okay, Neil. Phil Neil, didn't like him. Phil Neil, he was just an idiot, wasn't he? Came off the back of Liverpool, doing all this on Kidori shit. Winning European Cups, FA Cups, champ, you know, League Cups, all that box, charity, charity Shields. Came to us, well, cocky bastard he was. He was a versatile defender, don't get me wrong, but he's pretty. Oh, he was shit. But he was a versatile defender, which was only positive, but he was so bad. He was so cocky. And that's why after his playing career, he managed us for a little bit as player manager. Jesus, talk about getting too big for your bloody boots, eh? So, yeah. So, yeah, that was the list for the top nine worst Bolton players. Um, put down what you think in the comments, you know, your opinion and all that. And of course, yeah, that's the end of the video. So please leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications to make sure you get notified for the next post. We're also 400 subscribers, please drop your like button, speak, click the subscribe button. And yeah, peace out.